I'm joined by Indiana Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get right into this. Um, we're talking about the coronavirus and COVID-19. In the span of just a week, Indiana saw cases go from 1 to 12. So how worried should Hoosiers be at this point for something that the World Health Organization is now calling a pandemic? Well, now is the time that we are proactive and we're prepared so that we can protect our most vulnerable Hoosiers and reduce the spread of COVID-19. Uh, it is important that we don't panic, that we plan and we prepare, and that Hoosiers know that by planning and acting and not panicking, we're going to be able to take the steps to be able to reduce the spread of COVID-19. We're actually monitoring impacts globally. And what we have seen is those cities and countries that act responsibly and decisively have reduced the spread and saved lives. And that is what Governor Holcomb and I are focused on, well, reducing the spread and saving Hoosier lives. Absolutely, and I think a huge part of that is going to be test kits. And we know that President Donald Trump, the Vice President and former Indiana Governor Mike Pence has talked about anyone who needs a test is going to get a test. But we know that not all communities in Indiana have access to those just yet. We know in Vigo County, they do have access to those test kits, but in just a county over in Clay County, they do not have any according to health uh, officials. So why is that? We have actually had enough test kits to do the tests that we have been required to and that are necessary. We received more test kits last night. Uh, the governor spoke to the head of CDC last night and thanked him for the test kits, said keep them coming. But what we want Hoosiers to know is that first, they have the ability to access the Indiana State Department of Health website which actually has information and a lot of frequently asked questions. Uh, but after that, then if they have additional questions, they can call the hotline that the Indiana State Department of Health has. And then if they believe they have symptoms, they can see their health care provider or doctor. That is who will order the test. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that process a little bit more. If there's a patient, let's say in Clay County, where they don't have access to those test kits yet, if that person believes that they have the symptoms of the coronavirus and they call their hospital and explain those symptoms to them, what is that process like from the hospital then on? Well, the hospital um, will contact the Indiana State Department of Health and then the, we will go ahead and have the test kits and they'll be run through our state labs. And then how long is that going to take? Uh, it, it's a relatively quick process. Um, it's a relatively quick process. As so are we talking about any, hours? Are we talking about days? How long it, is that? It's not days. Okay. It's not days. And as you indicated a week ago, we had our first case. We're at 12 now. We've mm -hmm. had no deaths. Mm -hmm. We're focused on taking the steps to ensure that we don't have deaths. Sure. And uh, we appreciate your ability and your willingness to go ahead and, and educate people along with us so that they can take the necessary steps to protect themselves and protect their fellow Hoosiers. Well, we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. You're Lieutenant welcome. Governor Suzanne Crouch. Thank you.